the Lenten campaign on water is also creation of awareness around a critical resource that is supposed to be common to all humanity. The, the Lenten campaign is also not only raising awareness, but it's also creating a movement around this very vital resource for the livelihood of every human being. The pilgrimage on justice and peace, on the other hand, is a, a journey of pilgrims, those receiving and those visiting together around issues of justice and peace. Again, very essential to communities. And you can see the convergence of these two issues because you can't have justice when you don't have water. You can't have peace when people don't have water. And the convergence is that PJP, or Pilgrimage of Justice and Peace, walks with people to see, to celebrate their joys, listen to their wounds and pains, but also their plans and hopes, aspirations for changing the situation they are in. And there is where we converge uh, because in the journey together as pilgrims, the issues of water come up again and again as a resource that is a cause to violence uh, or as a resource that dehumanizes and denies people justice. Yeah, our visit here and our pilgrims to Asia, we would echo the word or phrase that lack of access to clean water by billions of people is indeed scandalous because Asia is not poor in water. Rather, it is the issue of commodification, commercialization that has resulted in at least two billion people from the Asian continent and the Pacific to have deficits in accessing clean water. In this sense, the water crisis in Asia is a reflection of the global water crisis. And for us, it's not only a scandal, it is a sin, because it is a sin which means it's criminal to deny people that very commodity that is supposed to be a common good for the common uh, good of the society. And therefore, it denies really the lifeline for many people because it will affect their health, it will affect their food security, it affects relationships. And it is this that makes us say the lack of water to billions of people in Asia is a scandal, it is a sin, it's a crime that should assume global proportion of outcry. Let me begin by saying that water is a right. Uh, water helps affirm the dignity of people. It is also now part of the SDG's 17 goals, meaning that by 2030, we should ensure that people have clean water. World Council, by proclaiming itself as a blue community, a blue organization, is to draw the attention of the world to the fact that bottled water is not the answer to the lack of clean, portable water. In fact, it is becoming increasingly clear that bottled water is not as safe. Hence, this blue community concept is to demand of us, is requiring all of us to ensure that we have in place water that can be drinkable anywhere by anybody at any time so that we do not create classes in terms of accessing water, those who can access clean water through the bottle and those who are condemned to contaminated water. And I think this is the message 
that the World Council through Blue Community tries to make. Now, of course it is difficult in certain situations when you have people from all over the world and sometimes not so conscious to trust and believe that the local communities will boil and make sure that the water is actually clean enough for them. Hence that uh, pro provision where we try to accommodate those fears as we walk with them and journey with them uh, towards understanding why the blue community.